Hey guys, it's Heather. Link is my homeboy. Today is Sunday, December 16th, 2018. Um, it's been about three weeks since my last video. Um, that was kind of on purpose. Um, I was doing well on the two week schedule, but then when I was thinking about it, I wanted to do an end of the year, end of the year video pretty close to the end of the year. Um, and so, and then I had a bunch of stuff coming in this past week that I wanted to be able to show and not have to hold on for two, two more weeks. So I went ahead and held off on the recording and then got busy on Friday and Saturday and my son doesn't take naps anymore. So, um, here we are. <laughs> so if you are a new viewer, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you. Um, I appreciate all the likes and comments and subscribes and, um, just appreciate you guys coming back and hanging out with me. So, um, floss tube number 10, let's get into it. Um, life update, went to the monthly stitchy meetup, uh, didn't have any new faces this time. We got a couple of returning faces that hadn't been there in a couple of times. Uh, I think there was five of us that showed up. Um. It was, it was nice and fun and, you know, got some decent stitching in and lots of chatter and it was, it was good. Um, I think the next one we might move up to the north side, um, just because there's a few people that do have to drive pretty far, um, to get to where we normally meet. And I think we might move the date too, I don't know. We haven't decided yet, so when we do, I will, of course update and uh you know if you're in this area and you want to come meet us then anyone's welcome um other than that uh nothing too exciting is going on so let's get into stitching um i have an ffo an fo a couple of whips that i've spent a good bit of time on and a new start uh, so for my FFO here, and this is like a proper FFO, um, this isn't like my, you know, my little glue magnet to the back of some plastic canvas FFO from last time. Uh, this is my finished stiatch. So they gave us the border and home is where the, and then there were nine different options, but because the colors were tailored so much to me specifically, I wanted to put it above my craft area where all my stash is held so I charted home is where the stash is and I actually did a proper finish on this where I laced it for the first time so and that's just a piece of cardboard from a box from Amazon I know it's not acid free and all that but you know this isn't exactly an heirloom piece or anything I'm not too worried about it and I just wanted to try lacing for the first time and then this is a dollar store frame so <laughs> So boom. I just need to get something, I just need to get like a low profile um, hook to put it up on the wall. The ones we have already are not low profile and I don't really want to put holes in the wall, so no nails. Um, I did have a couple of more FFOs. Um, one of them was my ATC for the Facebook group uh, for November. This was the Fantasy ATC. I will put a new picture here. Uh, I, that is a dragon from Fuzzy Fox Designs. I changed the colors from pink to blue and stuck it on a card and set it off. That was one of the things that I had accidentally thrown away a few weeks back. I still haven't found them, so I have to assume that they've been thrown away. Um, but though, but I kind of got upset that I had thrown it away, so I delayed redoing it, and then uh, when I redid it, I guess I must have done it on 16 count the first time because when I first did it, it was much smaller. Um, but that time I did 14 count and it just, just barely fit. So I was lucky there. <laughs> um, and then I had a couple of ornaments I made for a couple of friends. Uh, one of them was for the Frick Swap, uh, which that goes out to the UK. So I may not be able to show that for a little bit. Um, but I will insert pictures of those. Actually, I took a little video of the one I did, and um, I'll insert that when it's been received. So, um, I also have an FO 
This is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries Mermaid Kisses and Starfish Wishes, which is pretty much in none of the called for colors. Okay, there's what it's supposed to look like. And with this one, I took a bunch of color and cotton and most sail floss and had some fun with it. Um, and then there's all sorts of like little bubbles and stuff that go through here, but I'm going to get some beads for that. And because this is going to be a cube finish, so I don't have to worry about like, framing it or anything. I think the only called for colors I used were the skin of the mermaid, the rock and the rocks under the mermaid, and I think maybe the color of the starfish. Uh, the rest of it is different most sale and things like that. Um, I think the like the silver that I've used here, um, like the silver was called for, but they called for Krynek and I used um, the DMC Diamond. And this border here is most sale Cena. This right here is most sale Cheap Tui. Oh, the fin is most sale Cena too. Uh, her hair is Victorian motto variegated light purple. Mermaid and the ampersand sign are in color and cotton Miami. And kisses and wishes is done in color and cotton Calliope. So, very happy with that. Oh, and the fish is most sale, um, Rose Tyler. So, very happy with how that turned out. Just need to go select some beads and get it beaded and actually attempt to FFO it into a cube so no idea where I'm gonna put this yet but it's cute I wanted to do it so I did it <laughs> uh, then for whips um, I've really been working on two whips um, there was probably a weird cut there something happened with my camera um, but so now on to whips and I've really been working on two whips. Um, I spent a little bit of time like working on getting some stuff organized and everything and then really only stuck with a couple of whips right now. So the first one I've been working on here is the Fuzzy Fox Designs Pretty Little Produce Sal. Um, and the full design has been released now. It was uh, three vegetables or fruits per month for 12 months. And it started in January this year. Um, and I think the last time I showed it, I really only had one vegetable done. Um, and a couple others almost done. So I think I had, I had the chili done. And the pumpkin and the beet were mostly done. And I had started the lime. Um... But these two were like missing. There was like one color, like 33, 46, I think. And uh, I finally found it and got them finished up. So I've got the the beet, the pumpkin, the, chia, the chili, the lime, potato, tomato, pear, swede, or as we call it in America, rutabaga, and a turnip. So that's the first three months. So that's January, February, March. And the, and these stitch up really quickly. Um, I can get one done in a two, three hour session, depending upon how many colors it has. Um, and I still haven't decided what color I want to do the title. I was thinking maybe red, but then I was thinking if I want to hang it in the kitchen, maybe I need to do like an avocado green because uh, part of our kitchen is going to be painted in avocado green. And then I'm going to have the, the coffee colored wall, which is going to have all my coffee stuff on it. Um, so I was thinking maybe avocado green to match the green wall um but if you have a specific color in mind um as a suggestion let me know in the comments and I'll take a look at it and see if it's something that might be might be what I'm looking for and my other main whip I've been working on here is my Star Tropics quilt square for um it's a charity quilt square I started it in 2015. It's my oldest whip. And uh, I will insert a picture here of where it was last time I worked on it before this time. Um, I think it was back in February of this year. And um, picked it back up and worked on it pretty solid for about three or four days. And that's where I am now. So technically that's two page finishes over here. 
Um, and this is as wide as it's going to get, and this is as tall as it's going to get. So this area here is what I've got to fill in. But this thing is a bear because of all that blue. And, you know, it's my fault. I picked the game. I picked the screen uh, screenshot, and I charted it. So <laughs> um, it's my fault that there's all this blue. Um, but what I've been doing to kind of combat that is do, like, I'll do a length of light blue, a length of dark blue, a length of some of the color. Length of light blue, length of dark blue, length of some other color. And uh, that seems to be working pretty well. And uh, this was originally started for the Sprite Stitch charity quilt, but um, activity on that forum just kind of died. And so um, one of the members of that forum that was doing the quilts and everything when we were still doing them on that site, she does a Twitch channel and uh, quilts. Her name is Quilt Tony. I'll link her Twitch channel below. And um, she does fundraisers twice a year for St. Jude. And so she's doing one in May of next year and wants all these quilt squares so she can auction it off during her streams next year. Um, so I got to get this done and get sent to her by March. But I really don't want to take this into 2019. So I'm really hoping to be done before the end of the year. But... I guess we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I can get it done. I don't have any like other obligated stitchings or anything like that. It's all stitching for me or I mean, I guess that's kind of an obligation stitching, but like I don't have any swaps. I don't have any ATCs or anything like that that I'm working on. So I can stitch what I want when I want, but it'll be nice to have that done finally. <sighs> okay. So that was it for whips. And next, uh, I have one new start. Um, th and I actually just started it last night, so, um, it's the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery I Love Fall. This is one of their seasonal sayings. And, as you can probably guess, I'm doing none of the called for colors. I've just started it last night, though. But, so, I just got the, yes, it's crooked in the queue, snap, don't care. Um, I just got the border completed last night. And this is a Jottery Designs, uh, September 2018 Club Special Change of Seasons. So I thought that was kind of perfect for a fall piece. And then um, in that bottom corner there where it's got the three apples, I'm working on charting to make one of, them an a one of them a pumpkin and one of them an acorn. So I'll have an apple, a pumpkin, and an acorn there. And because uh, there's just a lot of apples and I don't, apples aren't the only thing in fall. So, but it's very cute. All right. So that's it as far as the actual stitching portion. Um, like I said, I, I have been doing some organizing. Um, so I haven't been doing as much stitching as I probably would have in the past three weeks. But um, but I did some organization. And in the process of that, I figured out an organization right now that works for me for my non-DMC fancies. And everything is all in here. So... Um, this container, we bought some new Tupperware. You know, it's, it's not Tupperware brand, but Tupperware. And it all came in this in this thing. And this isn't airtight itself, so it's not really good for food storage or anything. So I was like, well, we'll keep it, because I can definitely find something to store in there. And then we were, we were at Walmart one day, and they had a whole bunch of the school supply stuff in carts. Like, it was marked for like less than a dollar or less than five dollars, whatever. And they had a bunch of these little things. I think they called them crayon boxes because I think it fits like a 24 pack of crayons. Like a 24 pack of Crayolas. They had them for 10 cents each. So I did what any reasonable person did, does and threw 24 of them in my cart. Um, so I have these inside this tub. Like all stacked up here. For most of my fancies. Because I only have... You know, I'll have stuff where I have, like, five or six of them. This one, I have one of this brand. You know, this one, I have, like, three. You know, so they're all stacked in there. But then I also have, like, I have a few brands where I have a lot of them. So I've got Most Sale in a, in a baggie right here. Um, I'm in the process of bobbinating the Most Sale because I would like to put them into a one of the plastic things like I do with the DMC. Um, Color and Cotton and Victorian Motto. Which, I want to put all these on rings eventually and like, stick them on the wall, but I just haven't done that yet. And then I've also got a fancy conversion list here 
So it's got DMC2, uh, Weeks, Gast, and Classic Color Works. So I've got that in here with all my fancies. And, I mean, so far it's working for me, so... And it doesn't take up a whole lot of space, and... You know, it may not work after a certain point, and if it doesn't, then I'll move to something else. But for now, if I'm going to be working on converting something, i just got to carry this with me. So, no big deal. Um, and also part of my organization, I made myself a needle minder holder. Needle minder holder. It's just a piece of decorative felt inside of a hoop. And then I just hang it on the wall. So very uh very inexpensive very quick and easy to make and it gets them out in the open and displayed and i like it i might have to make another one if i keep buying more needle minders though <laughs> so um okay so that the next portion of this video is going to be kind of haul heavy um got some stitchy kindness some giveaways stuff some haul um, at the end of everything, though, I do want to do a giveaway, so stick around, hang out with me for a little bit longer here, and then, uh, we'll get to the giveaway. Uh, so haul, uh, I got my Floss of the Month Club from Gulf Coast Stitches, Julie, and she was doing a theme month where it was Christmas themed, and, I mean, just looking at the colors, it's pretty darn spot on. Uh, this is Weeks Dye Works Coal, Classic Color Works Holly Berry, Classic Color Works Jolly Holly, Classic Color Works Moldberries, and Classic Color Works Frosty, which is like a white and light blue mix. Very pretty. And then I think starting in January, she's doing like alphabetical from the beginning of the uh, beginning of the alphabet because someone else is doing backwards from the end I'm not sure uh, I also got um, during most sale Black Friday she had grab bags I'm not gonna go over all the colors a lot of them are her Halloween collection um, but there's some other stuff in there too so lots of fun colors and Mo also put together little Christmas boxes or bags or whatever you want to call it, um, where it came with a pattern and some fabric and some floss and some beads and treasures and needle minder and um, I was very happy with it. Um, so if you got her small box and you want to be surprised, then look away or don't watch the rest of the video. Um, but it is Stony Creek Collection Christmas Sentiments. I actually might take off the words and just, like, repeat this border on the top and the bottom. I don't know. I'll get to it at some point. Um, and I went with the 28, I think it's 28 count, uh, 28 count even weave box. And it's kind of this, uh, it's a very, very light beige with some nice brown modeling in it so I like it and some floss another floss this is variegated green to brown uh, a needle minder like a bottle cap and it's got baubles on it Christmas baubles and some beads and treasures for the uh, for the pattern because it does require it does call for some beads and treasures so so that was that was a fun little surprise package to pick up so like I really wanted to do some of the, the other surprise packages that were out there, like Witchy Stitcher and um, Color and Cotton, but I just didn't, I didn't have the funds for those kinds of surprise packages. Um, but Moe's was, was definitely within a, a, a lower budget. Um, and then I got my, I got my ATC for the Instagram group. Um, it was from Mitch Stitch, or as I like to call her, Ozzy Michelle. So she sent this lovely card, and she was 
she put in there, she was like, this is like the Australian birds to the bows. Um, and we did the, the theme was Stitcher's Choice. So she picked a few little sprites from Zelda. Cause duh. But I love it. Um, and then, um, I was a giveaway winner from Rita Marie's Stitching Adventure. She had given away this kit, um, and it's the, it's this one here, which I thought they were pomegranates, but it, it appears they're apples. I still like them. I just, I thought it was pomegranates, but it's okay. I like it. I will stitch it sometime. Uh, she also sent me a lovely little Christmas card. It says, God Jewel. God Jewel. I, I don't speak Norwegian, but it means Merry Christmas. And she also sent me this, uh, this lovely little ornament. It's Charmander with a, uh, with a little Christmas hat on. It's got a bell. So, and she put some cute little fabric on it, and it's been on my tree. I had to take it off the tree to show it for the video. Uh, she also sent me, like, a little package, um, but when I was reading the card, Link walked up and grabbed it and ripped it open. So I know there's some fabric in there, but I haven't opened the two little packages in there. So, um, I haven't actually really opened it, but I will open it on Christmas and share what was in there next video. Um, and going along with Christmas here, I was a lucky recipient of a Pam and Steph card. Thank you very much. So funny. I was a little confused as to how they had my address, but then I was like, oh, right, I'm going to StitchCon. <laughs> um, I also got a lovely little card from Amy Loves Toads, and she sent me a skein of thirty-seven seventy-seven, which she said is her favorite Christmas red. Uh, Gina of Hanging by a Thread sent me a Christmas card, and it's a Harry Potter Christmas card. That's Hogwarts. So fun, love it. Didn't know there were Harry Potter Christmas cards, but now that I do, everybody's getting them next year. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, Ms. Adele, Don't Cast Stitches. She sent me this card and some DMC à toi. Purple. Uh, fun fact, à toi is French for star, and so it sparkles like a star is where I'm guessing they got the, the name from. I've used it. It's fun. And last but certainly not least on the Christmas list here, um, I got this adorable card from Nicole Buckeye Stitcher. Look at that moose. That moose is ridiculous. I love it. And she also sent me a little project bag. A little Christmas project bag. Look at that fabric. Is that not adorable? And it's one of the vinyl front ones, like I love. Um, it's got this like red and white striped interior. And I love that that the zipper is mint green. It's just gorgeous. So she had a she had a bag fairy make that and just sent them out to some of her friends. So I'm sure that bag fairy knows who she is. Thank you very much. Um, I also um, I participated in the Frooks ornament swap, and Shannon got me Stitchy Shannon eighty five. Uh, so first she sent an adorable little Christmas card with some little Canadian bears, because look at that, look at that, Canadian, Canadian, uh, the maple leaf there. Adorable. Uh, she also sent me Coffee Crisp, which is delicious, and I'm upset that we don't have this in America, um, but because of my braces I do have to cut it into pieces to eat because I can't take bites off of it. So... But she gave me the tip to crumble it over some vanilla ice cream, and I'm going to do that sometime soon. She also sent me a few packs of Smarties, which are like M&M's. It's candy-covered chocolate. I've eaten a couple boxes, shared them with my kids. She sent me some fancy chocolates, which I ate half of them and saved the rest. I've been very good to save the rest, so I could show them in the video. But they're like, white chocolate with strawberry and black currant filling. Dark chocolate with blueberry and bay leaf filling. Milk chocolate with passion fruit. And they're all 
like funny colors and stuff. But they're delicious, and now I get to eat the rest of them. Um, so the idea was to make an ornament and send, you know, make a cross stitch ornament and send it. And she also found this. It's a Charmander in a bobble. It's like acrylic and it's like like laser cut or etched or painted or, or something like that. And also, that's a snowflake, but it's made up of the Triforce and the Master Sword and a Hillian Shield. And then, this is the one she made for me. So that's a Fuzzy Fox Designs Cactus. I think it was Snowflake. It wasn't part of the, sti part of the stitch along that she did, um, but yeah. And then she attaches this little, this little white sled. Adorable. So now I can put these all back on the tree. Because <laughs> I've had them on the tree. I just uh, didn't, uh, I just took them off for the video. So I used them before I showed them, sorry. And then my last little bit of haul here, um, I had put a call out on Instagram for someone to trade some Victoria Motto with, uh, because I used to be in the Victoria Motto club, and you get 20 yards gained. So I wanted to split some of those with someone, so we each get 10 yards. And um, a gal named Shelly was willing to trade me, so she sent me a, a Star Wars Christmas card. Uh, she sent me some tea and some M&M's. And then here's everything she sent me. And I'm terrible and haven't been able to get to the post office to get hers out yet. But um, hopefully tomorrow. Um, but I'm very excited to have some, some different colors to, to use and everything. So this will definitely broaden my collection. Alright, so that that's it um oh i did say i had a giveaway so during the um i figured since this is my 10th video we'll go ahead and do a giveaway so when i was doing all my organization and everything um i came across this a designer collection festive chart book it came from cross stitch crazy i somehow managed to end up with two of this exact one so I wanted to pass it along to somebody else because I'm sure I got it from some sort of giveaway from somebody. Um, so, of course, B18, don't say giveaway. I'll have to delete your comment. Um, please be a subscriber. And answer the question, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Uh, mine is Die Hard, and it is a Christmas movie. And if you argue that in the comments, I'll delete that too. Um... I mean, JK, but it, it's a Christmas movie. Uh, my husband's is Christmas Vacation. So typically what we do on Christmas is we will, um, we have all of our stuff for our kids in the morning. My mother-in-law comes over in the afternoon. We order Chinese. We watch Christmas Vacation and um, Die Hard. So, um, but yeah, what's your favorite Christmas movie? And I will, yeah, I know you're not going to get this before Christmas, but you'll be able to use these little designs for Christmas next year. So, uh, open international too. So, don't worry if you're if you're across the pond or whatever. All right, guys. Um, I will see you again in a couple weeks for an end of the year wrap up, kind of introduction to 2019 kind of stuff. I plan to do a finalized breakdown of my plans for 2019. I plan to do a whip parade and of course the usual stuff you know any finishes and things like that I get between now and then but I'm hoping to do that probably the whatever the last weekend is right before the end of the year so you guys have a very Merry Christmas and or whatever holiday you may celebrate and I will see you guys in a couple weeks bye